Welcome to the Wool Google pop-up shop for BDC. I'm Sarah Stokes. My name's Emily Cadwell. And we're teachers at Bishop Durrett College. We're going to explain to you today the Walker Learning Approach, which you can see in this shop we've set up stations uh, within here. So the Walker Learning Approach is an approach that we use in our classrooms for K-2. It's an approach whereby we look at the whole child. So we're looking at the child in terms of their cognitive development, their social, their emotional development, as well as looking at curriculum and what the students actually need. So our job as teachers is to set up these purposeful stations where we look at children's interests and those domains I spoke about, and we look at what we're teaching in the day. And then whilst the children are investigating throughout the morning, we look for opportunities to springboard off what we see them doing and use that when we explicitly teach our content. So Emily's going to, Emily and I are going to talk you through some of the stations that we've set up in here and the purpose behind them. So a little bit of an example as to what the station is and then what we have set up for that. So we'll start with the tinkering station today. The tinkering station is an opportunity for children to play, pull apart, investigate and basically tinker with parts of things that they might find in their everyday life. Uh, today in our shop we've set up our tinkering station as a small chalkboard with some uh, small nails and hammers and this gives the children the opportunity to create pictures using this. The reason that we've set that, this up in our uh, shop is that we would be focusing on hand-eye coordination, muscle strength, uh, grip. They're the areas of the developmental domains that we chose to focus on by setting this up in our store. So you'll be able to find the small pictures in our shop today. Another domain, another sorry, uh, station that we've set up is the small world. The small world gives children an opportunity to take a role or play a character without themselves being that character. So it's using small uh, characters and small people to play with. We've set up dinosaurs today in our store as our small world. The developmental domain that the small world links to is the social domain, the language domain, the cognitive domain, it gives children the opportunity to share space, to share resources, the language domain, there's, a, there's so much oral, rich oral language that takes place in the small world. So today you'll find the dinosaur set up. Another station that we've got set up near the dinosaurs is the construction area. In our construction area, we have a choice of construction material today. We have Lego, we have blocks, and we also have some trucks there. The construction area, we've chose those uh, resources to set up. Once again, helps children with their spatial awareness when they're moving around in building, language, they have to share resources, socially work together. This also links very strongly to the maths curriculum. So you'll see beside it, you've got some maths resources, tape measures, things for measurement, great for literacy too. Children can draw a plan of what they're going to build, write labels, take photos of what they've made. It, 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 there's so many um, opportunities in these domains. By having a maths resource centre set up, which you'll see as well, this provides students the opportunity to go and use those maths resources that they will be learning about in their play. If children are saying, how high is my tower? We can say, go over to the maths resource centre, find a tape measure and we'll measure it together. And you also have books in your station. We do, we have some books that link to that. We have both imaginative and factual. This gives us an opportunity to talk about text types for children to do their own research. There's opportunities are endless. Yeah, and they can just read the books as well. Yeah, if they like. Is so behind us here we have three other stations. So we have a next science and nature station. This is a really popular station mm -hmm. with students at our school. Um, it gives them, we put in their real life opportunities for them to create, question, discover and explore the world around them. So you'll see we have a B station set up. Uh, so we have uh, opportunities for them to look at things related to the bee world and for them to ask questions and to explore. You'll also notice that we've put in um, some shapes in there. So we've put in some maths component into there because at the moment we might be looking at 2D shapes, but how they manipulate the 2D shapes and use tessellation. Uh, the other thing we've got is a literacy station. So like Emily said about the math station, the literacy station is for students to use the resources within each station and also throughout the day. So in our literacy station, we've incorporated some of our other programs and approaches that we have at Bishop Durrett College. So we also do a talk for write, which is a multi-sensory approach to learning how to write. So it's through oral language and you'll see up at the top there, we're going on a bear hunt. So students might like to go to the literacy station and have a look through the book and then create their own stories about what hunts they could go on. There's also, we also do multi-sensory learning. 
um, in our approach to learn phonics and sounds. And so down the bottom here you can see that there's some uh, sensory play which also allows children that need that sensory tactile touch to explore in there and find some uh, find some rocks in there that have letters on them and create some words that they know. And even if they don't understand the letters, they have a play with that. So they're exploring the whole time. Our last one is dramatic play, our most popular station in any classroom. Always. The dramatic play is an opportunity for them to put themselves in real life situations that they experience. So we've set up a pizza shop, other dramatic play opportunities that we set up are cafes, uh, shops, Camping. Camping, they love the camping. Hairdressers, they love that as well. So the purpose of that is for them to basically build a lot of their oral language. So they have rich opportunities to have conversations with each other, to negotiate with each other, which can be a skill that a lot of young children need. Um, to organise who's doing what. So in the pizza shop, that's been purposefully uh, developed so that she, you need someone taking orders, you need someone to cook, you need someone to take the deliveries. So they've got to negotiate with each other to do that. Also in there, the mass component of the dramatic play for us in here is the money. Money is a big one. So you're negotiating in, um, with money and also uh, fractions. Fractions is a good one to do with this one. So children might ask for half a pizza for a quarter of the pizza. So they need to understand that concept. So as a teacher, if I saw children doing that within the pizza shop, then when I go to teach my fraction lessons, I might get Emily, who was my child, and say, Emily, today I noticed that you were working in the pizza shop and that you asked for half a pizza. Can you show me what you did there? They come up and show us that, and then I explicitly teach. It's from really them. that jump from parallel play to cooperative play as they're moving through, that they cooperate with each other. Yeah, a fantastic opportunity. And there's a lot of opportunity for students to record and um, document, like Emily said, their plans or start to write. And so a lot of the literacy and maths comes out through the stage. So you think wonder, you'll see, find a couple of yeah. see think wonders around as well. Different routines that we put out very purposefully at the stations to help develop those skills that we're working on throughout the rest of the day. But have a play yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, go out to each station, Enjoy. have a little bit of a play, get down with your children and play, and um, ask, the, ask any questions that the person's here and they can answer.